Hey guys, this is Bharadwaj with PhoneArena.com and this is the Oppo R819. This device launched just yesterday and the company promises uh, to deliver convenience at a cheaper price with this phone. So this uh, is a mini of some sort. Uh, it's not like the Oppo Find 5, it's not a high-end device. It's a mid-range device and is supposed to move volumes. So that's the primary purpose of this device and Oppo has made sure that convenience is really a factor that people weigh in because uh, that's the main USB of this device. As you can see from the spelt frame here, it's uh, just 7.3 millimeters thick and weighs just 110 grams. So it's really convenient and the back is nicely curved. The design makes sure that it feels right at home in your hands. It's, it's, it's a beautiful phone uh, for a feel it feels really great in the hands so that's what oppo aims uh, for here so let's uh, go through the phone uh, in a quick hardware walkthrough so uh, on the front you have the 4.7 inch 1280 by 720 display it's a 720p display and is based on the ogs technology one glass solution that uh, oppo pioneered in the oppo find 5. Uh, on the top of the display you have the earpiece the earpiece and the front facing camera which is 2 megapixels and can take 720p videos and over here you have got the couple of sensors the ambient light sensor and the proximity sensor as you can see the bezel is not as thin as the fine pie but that is expected uh, also if you can notice the 16 by 9 form factor really shows with the device being longer than other usual devices and uh, narrower perhaps uh, below the device, uh, below the display, you have got the three capacitive buttons that unfortunately do not light up in the dark, so it's a bit of an issue there. Uh, over at the sides, you can notice a single strip of metal that runs through. It uh, makes the device look really slick. So over here on the right side, you have the volume rocker. Uh, over at the left side, you have the power button, power or the lock switch. But the good thing is that thanks to the software, you don't even need the power button because uh, you can just double tap to wake the screen but that's a software feature which we'll get into later uh, over at the top you have the 3.5 mm audio jack and uh, you also have uh, the camera here on the back which is slightly uh, raised from the back because the device is super thin uh, below the camera you have the single LED flash and you have the secondary microphone here for stereo the audio in video recording the back has a nice texture not sure if you can see it from the lighting in this angle but uh, it has a nice texture and uh, improves the grip somewhat since it is glossy uh, over at the bottom you have the uh, loudspeaker the loudspeaker is sufficiently loud but we'll uh, test out more and we'll let you know over at the bottom you have the micro USB port and the primary microphone for voice calls. So that concludes the hardware overview. But uh, as we said in the Oppo Find 5 review itself, it's uh, the software that kind of stands out. So the skin what you see here is Oppo's own skin and it's called the Color ROM uh, these days. Oppo Find 5 also has it and uh, the Color ROM comes pre-installed on the Oppo R819. But the good thing is that they have unlocked the bootloader and you can install the AOSP build or even CyanogenMod, Paranoid, Android or whichever ROM you wish to install just like that. So that's an independent uh, independence that Oppo has provided for us consumers. So that's a pretty good uh, thing. Uh, so yes, the software is uh, a custom skin, but it is actually Android of course. When you go into the about page, you can see that it runs on Android version 4.2.1. It has a 1.2 GHz quad-core processor, which is the MediaTek MT6589 that you see on most uh, mid-range Indian devices these days. You also have only 1 GB of RAM, but there is uh, 16 GB of storage, which is good, uh, which you can see inside the SD card and phone memory. Apart from that, uh, we also forgot to mention that the camera it's an 8 megapixel sensor and as you can see from here it has a custom UI not uh, similar to any other UI or even the stock UI it's completely different and there are a lot of features like uh, 
beauty shot, HDR and whatnot. The camera always uh, runs in the full brightness mode, so that's why it looks overexposed in the uh, in our camera. So that's that's about it. That's the camera. So the UI, as you can see, is pretty different. The UI uh, is you know completely different from a stock Android, but you do have an application list and you do ha have a lot more features. Uh, for example, you have a lot of gestures like uh, we'll show you here the motion gestures which you might have seen in uh, other devices like the Samsung Galaxy for example you have almost all the uh, gestures here uh, you know smart sleep smart notification hands free switch auto answer all these are from other devices you can also see them on the canvas 4 but the best thing here is that the uh, double click to brighten up that we just demoed you there uh, double click to Brighten up uh, really, you know, improves the usage. This was initially seen with the Nokia N9 for the double tap to wake, but now uh, most people have implemented it, and this is a really nice uh, gesture, you know, that doesn't come in the way and feels really natural. So, yeah, that was a quick overview of the hardware and the software of the Oppo R819. We'll be bringing you a lot more information, uh, gaming reviews, benchmarks, and more and also the complete review soon real soon so do keep checking the blog for uh, more updates on the oppo r819 and do hit the like button if you like this video and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like these thanks for watching